Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I will walk you through how to write off bad debt in QuickBooks Online, including how to generate bad debt reports. I'll also cover how bad debt write-offs affect your financial statements. Let's go ahead and start by running an accounts receivable aging detail report to identify potentially uncollectible amounts. To do this, click on Reports on the left-hand side toolbar and search Accounts Receivable Aging Detail Report. From this report, you can review your outstanding amounts and determine which should be written off. In this report, you can see that the invoice for Red Rock Diner is over 91 days past due. With that said, we can now consider it a bad debt and we need to write it off in QuickBooks Online. Now, if you haven't already, you must create a bad debt expense account to record uncollectible amounts properly. To do this, click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of your dashboard and then select chart of accounts under your company. Click on the new button and proceed to create a new expense account. Select expenses as the account type and bad debts as the detail type. You can name the account bad debt or something similar. Next, you'll want to create a bad debt item that will be used as a dedicated line item to record bad debt transactions in QuickBooks Online. Click on the gear icon and then select Products and Services under Lists. Tap the green New button and proceed to create the item. Choose Non-Inventory as the type and then designate the item to the bad debt account. This way QuickBooks will record the debt to the correct account automatically when applying the credit memo to the outstanding invoice. Once done, hit save and close to record the item. Now let's create our credit memo. Click on the white plus new button in the upper left hand corner of your dashboard and then select credit memo under the customer's category. From the credit memo form, select the customer for whom you are creating the credit memo, and then select the product or service, the bad debt, and enter the amount you need to write off, which for this outstanding invoice is $156. Once done, click save and send or save and close. Once the credit memo is created, you must apply it to the invoice you need to write off. To do this, click on the white plus new button and then select receive payment under customers. Now, if we go ahead and go to invoices, you'll see that the credit memo was automatically applied. Now, if you have a customer who has many outstanding invoices, you will need to do this manually, but since 
the amounts lined up in QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks automatically applied the credit memo to the correct account. However, from the receive payment form, as you can see, you can select the appropriate customer and locate the invoice you want to write off from the outstanding transaction section. Next, tick the box before the invoice and in the credit section, mark the related credit memo, as you can see here. This has already been done. Now, once you go through that process and you have your invoice selected, you can go ahead and click save and close. Once you apply the credit memo to the invoice, it offsets the outstanding balance of that invoice, meaning the amount is no longer expected to be collected and it is now closed. This adjustment then reduces your outstanding receivables balance. It will also impact your income and expense accounts, which will be reflected on your profit and loss report. To view and track all the receivables you tagged as debt, you can run an account quick report. To do this, find the bad debt expense account in the chart of accounts and then select run report. QuickBooks will run an account quick report showing a list of uncollectible debts that you have recorded and written off. As mentioned earlier, bad debt write-offs are reflected on your P&L statement, and you'll see them under the expenses section. You've just learned how to write off an invoice in QuickBooks Online. Hopefully, you won't encounter any bad debts. But at least now you know how to manage them properly so your financial information stays accurate. For more business resources, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.